And good morning, everybody. It's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, as you can see, we have a couple special guests with us. We have Jill Harold from Syngenta and Nick Miller with Helena Sand and Gravel. And folks, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. We're going to talk about a wonderful program that's helping to develop leadership skills regarding this region's natural resources. And Jill, let's talk first about what Real Montana is. Well, Real Montana, of course, that's an acronym for Resource Education and Agricultural Leadership. Uh, and there are 20 individuals that uh, have applied for the program that were chosen um, to be uh, members of it. And they're from all over the state and all over different uh, industries with the natural resources, uh, already leaders within their industries chosen to be a part of this to really hone their skills even further um, so we can help educate, uh, promote, and just better advocate for our industries. Absolutely. Of course, Real Montana is a two-year program, a two-year commitment from all 20 of you. Nick, let's talk about why you wanted to be part of class number two. Well, I saw this opportunity at, uh, for personal growth for one. Um, you know, we're dealing with the media. We're learning how to deal with the media today and it's something that I could really use some help on. Um, but more than that, we're blessed with, with uh, sustainable natural resources in Montana. And that drives our local economy from, from good paying jobs and, and of course the tax revenue. Um, and I feel that we are, we're losing the, our identity as Montanans. And, and more than that, we've, we've lost some balance. Um, and we need to get that balance back. Jill, it's a two-year program, as we mentioned. That's 24 months. That seems like a gob of time, a lot of time to get out there and network and become more familiar with the natural resource industries in this area. So walk us through the different components of Real Montana. Besides the media training, which, by the way, Nick, you're doing a fantastic job at. <laughs> Thank you. What are some of the other components that you guys will be partaking in the next couple of years? There are so many fabulous components of it, um, and every one of us is dedicated to doing this. Uh, we meet almost every other month and we're going to meet in various places across the state. We get to go to Kalispell and check out logging, Sydney, see the oil, uh, so many great places and things to learn about the different natural resources. Uh, really excited in March, we get to go to Washington, D.C., learn a little bit about what they do for advocating for our industries there um, and become a leader, a little bit more on that. And then uh, at the end of the two years, we get to go do an international trip. Uh, the last class went to China and um, I'm rooting for either uh, Europe or South America uh, to go to, hint. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's going to be great to see kind of what they do as far as agriculture and, and how that works with us in, in Montana. All right, Nick, last question for you. If somebody out there wants to find out more information about Real Montana, how do we do so? Probably the, the easiest and quickest spot is uh, realmontana.org. Um, and, you know, how I got involved was, was I was approached by someone in class one who said, I should do this and and so I got on learned as much as I could about it found found that there was actually quite a few I think there was four or five of the original members that I knew one I worked for when I was in high school so it was uh, you know there's a connection there and um, and and just talk to some of us that are in that are in class uh, yeah. two or or others that were in and class through one. our website too they'll be blogging and, yeah. and just you, they can track us through our yeah. our two-year well, journey I appreciate you guys for stopping in this morning and the best of luck thank, thank you, for you. Having us. all right stay with us we'll be back right after this